my name is Michaela Williams. I'm a teacher for Arts for All Florida, and today we're going to do sun printing. Uh, essentially, sienna tights with um, with fabric and ink. And sienna tights is a type of printmaking and photography. And we're going to use my favorite brand, Inko Dye print fabric with light. The colors I'm going to use today is red and blue. You can use multiple colors, but I mean, you can do a lot with just monochrome, which means one color. Um, what's great about this, if you're an individual that can't see very well, you can kind of feel your way or feel your way through your photograph and you can imagine because we make them with physical objects. Um, if you enjoy printmaking, this is another very simple, um, well, I think we got some purple up in here. And the materials that you need is styrofoam cups, which I've used here. These work great. Um, or paper cups, you can use something biodegradable, and these foam brushes. Um, if these, this is non-toxic, but if you want to use gloves to apply the ink, you can. Um, I'm choosing this fabric. You can choose just plain white fabric. Obviously, if it's plain white, you can see um, the photograph better. But I'm going for something more decorative and abstract, but I am choosing the white side of the fabric. Um, plain white fabric um, works great. If you are interested in um, experimenting and wanna try paper, go for it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the ink on the fabric. You also don't like the fumes and want to use this, use a uh, wear mask that is perfectly acceptable. Um, I we this hat this is an art project that has to be done outdoors, so I'm actually on my back porch and I'm applying the ink. This is like my art table. I don't really care if it gets ink on it, but another great material to have if you have a special table is to put some cardboard underneath your fabric as to not make a mess. Um, but if you're like, I'm okay with the mess, you can do it just like me. the bottles are black that's because they have to be dark because um, if any light gets to it it starts exposing so it's just like in photography it's light that exposes the photograph of course you're gonna get your photograph will be more in focus and it's gonna be a lot brighter a lot more clear what your images are if um, the brighter the sun is and if you place a piece of glass over top. But we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to keep it simple and safe and less complicated because, let's face it, that's what we like. We like beautiful things that are fun to play with and keep it simple. So we got an array of things that I thought looked cool. And the first thing you want to do is make an arrangement. I'm going to go with this part. And then I'm going to place some shells and see what comes up with. Now, you're like, well, what is sun printing? As you can see, I laid an object. It actually was a bracelet on top of the ink. And then I place it out in the sun. And then it actually started developing. This is something you can always apply the ink indoors, you know? Apply the ink indoors where there's no sun, especially if it's super shiny, 
and then take it outside. I'm just doing the whole project on my back porch because we had to film it today and it's a little bit cloudy so I'll probably have to wait a while for it to develop and what's great is that um, there's no drawing or painting involved. I'm just using found objects that speak to me and I'm making a something called a composition, which means the arrangement of items. Again, let's come back to this in about, let's see what the box says. 10 to 20 minutes. So bright sun, 10 minutes, partly cloudy, 20 minutes. So see you in 20 minutes. All right, we're back again. I wanted to show you the difference, what it would be like on white fabric, because we used like a canvasy fabric and depending on which materials you use, it will change how your photograph develops. Now remember while you're waiting those 20 minutes to cover up your fabric dye with something because with a piece of cardboard because if you don't um, this dye actually will start to develop in the cup so you want to keep it kind of dark. Um, I wouldn't leave it out in the sun. So again one nice thick clear coat. I would probably do this indoors um, or in the shade where the sun can't get at it. And what I love about these projects is, you know, you're making art with the sun. Important, and you're capturing that silhouette, that image of, um, of the special object. But the objects that I'm using today is, I'm going to put my piece of cardboard over my ink, are butterfly decals because I love butterfly decals and they're just a, a, a special animal that to me represents growth and change. Oh, by the way, once you make your decision about where you're placing these objects, you want to make sure that they don't move. So I'm making my final decision about right now. And you want to keep them there. Because if you move them around, it's going to make your photograph out of focus. Okay? So good luck. You place your objects. Um, I grab, grabbed a piece of glass out of an old picture frame that I had. And I'm going to tell you, this is going to actually help your photograph become more in focus or your print because it's going to lay things down super flat. Um, obviously in the other uh, sienna type, um, a lot of the objects we use were three dimensional, so it was not going to have the same effect. But because I used uh, flat 2D images, decals, um, I could put the glass over top and this is actually going to, when the sun hits it, it's going to create um, a more in focus image. The ink should develop as red. So as you can tell, it's still like that pale pink. So once this turns that bright red color, it will be ready. If you're using blue, you know, when it develops, it should turn this color. It goes on that color, comes out that color. All right. See you in 20. All right, it's been 20 minutes. Um, you can see I've already removed the objects. This one, it was a little bit cloudy that day. So as you can see, it didn't work out that well, but luckily, right, we made two. And you can kind of see the difference when it's bright and sunny. Oh, look at that. Put that aside. And we have made a sun print. 
beautiful. So you can make your own patterns with your favorite objects. And you just made your hand dyed piece of fabric. Beautiful. Now the next step for these pieces is to actually wash them because this is, you know, light sensitive dye. So we need to wash those chemicals out with soap and water. Okay. So I'm washing my hand dyed fabrics. I'm going to use a little bit of laundry detergent. Hand soap also works good. And I'm just going to stir that up. Okay, I have washed these and then I've rinsed them with clean water to get all the soap out. And now I want them to dry. You can also hang these to dry if you want to, but I'm gonna throw mine in the dryer. Okay, all done. So this is great to hand dye, you know, pillowcases, curtains, um, any, any hand dyeing for any fabrics works great. But as you can tell, this is a very thick canvasy fabric. And this is a 100% white cotton fabric. And so it shows up, this is red dye. This is blue and red together to make a purple dye. And um, just beautiful. Now remember when you're making your piece to don't touch it when it is developing in the sun because if you move the pieces you won't have a sharp edge. So that's sharp edge, that's what we want. All right, happy sun printing, goodbye.